let's look at labels in here we have a couple of uh, templates for queries which are labeled and we'll see in what situations labels work and in what situations labels uh, cannot work so in this very first option that we see uh, let me zoom in so here we have a begin and end block begin and end and there is a block state and within this block there will be the code for the block so we can specify a label name before the word begin and we can uh, put a colon after it and then we can begin the block so that's one way and we can also add a label after the end uh, word and it is optional similarly we can write uh, assign a label to a loop so before the loop starts we can say label name colon loop and after the loop ends we can optionally uh, write a label name as well so we know what uh, to which label name that the end of the loop refer is referring to if the code becomes too long and similarly we can assign a label name to a while loop as we can see here and again uh, inside of the block we have the conditions in we have the code for the while loop and then uh, we can end the while loop with again a label name similarly we can attach a label name for the for loop and the repeat block as well so here are a couple of examples here we have we have a begin end block and within this block we have a select clause then we have a break label and then we have a select second clause so in this case what happens is if we run this code the label breaks here so we break the block here uh, and we are saying that break the label uh, break the begin and block that has a label underscore one and therefore this statement would not execute so let's run this and we'll see that just the sql select one only that sec uh, select one has run and the select two hasn't run if we comment this out in that case then both of these in that case we are saying that there is no need to break the label uh, break the uh, uh, break uh, insert this we are not inserting a break inside the begin and block and therefore all the statements inside of that block will execute and we should see two select statements uh, that have run so here we select one and select two so so that is to say that we can use a break inside of a label and block uh, uh, which is labeled next here what we have is uh, we are trying to declare a variable x and, we are, and initializing it to a default value of zero and then uh, regardless of what we are so let's go through this we have a loop an end loop and inside of this we have a select statement so if you if you run just this part it will run and we would get uh, the select state select clause run and we see that this is done and if we look at the results we should see it done written here so that is good now if we were to refer to this label inside of this while block such that we are putting a condition that a uh, while x is less than three do x is equal to x plus one and then continue label one so this is not going to work it will throw an error because continue cannot be used inside of a uh, uh, continue cannot be used with a block label so that that's that's the reason and when if i run this we get an error next there are a couple more ways the label can be assigned as we saw earlier uh, here what we can do is we can use the same label again as long as the label names are not on overlapping parts so here label one begins and ends here label two begins and ends so we can use the label one again uh, that starts and ends uh, without overlapping the previous label one so that, that is valid next here what we have is a situation where a loop or a block may not repeat a label name so if we have a nested uh, block and if the outer block and the inner block cannot have the same name so that that's going to throw an error 
they have to have unique label names. So if we run this, it it'll, it should throw an error that we see label wall already exists. If we change this and if we add a two there, so that now we have different labels. In this case, then uh, the query does run successfully. So that's uh, that's another point to note. Next, we have that we can use the label name as a variable name as we see here. So we have the begin end block that has the label name label one. And then we have the declare block or declare statement where we are initial, we are declaring a variable label underscore one. So that uh, that also works just fine. However, uh, 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 I think that it's bet it's a good idea to have a different variable name uh, and not use the same label name as a variable name unless there is a specific need to do so uh, and after that as uh, as we talked about earlier we can have the label name written after the end uh, after the end word uh, of the block as we see here and that will work just fine uh, or we can optionally omit that and we do not have to specify that and that is equally valid so both of these are fine next what we have here is uh, we cannot have a uh, end uh, label name written at the end and not have it assigned before the beginning so the, this this is not this won't work this should give us an error because uh we need this label to be specified here if we we would have to have something like this written here for this label to exist after the word end let's look at another variation where we have this while loop inside of which we are using the uh we are using the label where we are declaring two variables x and y and then we have this loop and inside of this we are using while loop right here and inside of that we have the if end written and so what that does is that allows us to use these conditions based on the variables we find and run this this will work just fine and what happens here is that the break and continue statements target the outer level so even though we are inside of this while and while loop or inside of this if, if statements, we can use the label that is uh, on the outside of that particular block. Next, we have this particular case where uh, we can, uh, the, a break or leave or continue or iterate statement that specifies a label that does not exist. It's not just not going to work because we have to specify the label as we did here for us to be able to next again we have uh, an error uh, situation where if we there is an error we can uh, specify an exception and when we specify exception we can use the label to break out of that particular block and so the statements after the break statement won't be executed and finally what we have is a continue block so if we have a begin end block and if we have a continue and continue uh, clause that is referring to the same block then this will throw an error as we can see and as we can see here continue lab with label must refer to a so the reason why the continue worked earlier is because this was inside of the while loop so that was it for how the labels work if you have some questions please do let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next video thank you